<laughs> well, you need to move over. all happening this morning it's the Grantham Canal Society volunteers all out working keeping this lovely amenity open for us I used to be a volunteer for the Canal Society and one day when the canal was virtually frozen over being the polite person I am I moved back on that work boat to let somebody through and slipped off into the water and uh, had my car keys in my pocket so they failed so it wasn't a good it wasn't a good day and that was just before Christmas very cold and the life jacket that I was wearing didn't activate so I was in a deep part of the canal in a lock not to be recommended I'm racing a little bit this morning along here because I've arranged to meet Wendy at 10 we must be getting towards that now pumped up my tyres this morning and one of the valves was leaking a bit so I had to fix that first it's a beautiful morning, but I woke up to the sound of people scraping their windscreens. So that didn't auger well. So I've been taking it steady on the road, just in case there's some ice. Oh, I can see Wendy on the bridge waiting for me. Hope she's not been here too long. We're going to do about 45 miles today. Morning. Good morning. Am I late? Um, 9.54, you're not late. Oh, I'm early. Yeah, oh, right. sorry you're early. Right, we've made our way up through the Vale of Beaver. And I say up <laughs> because it was mostly up. And that's why we've not been speaking to you. Because all you'd hear is a lot of panting and heavy breathing <laughs> from me anyway. And uh, we're now high up. And you'll see in a moment this fantastic view. This is looking out over towards Nottingham. One of my favourite views. It's brilliant, isn't it? Breathtaking. It's a really nice descent here. I'll you... see you at the bottom. <laughs> yeah. We normally do it quite fast, but... Uh, you do. <laughs> there's been a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of wet leaves on the road. There's a lot of damp patches especially in the shade so it's probably a good idea to take it steady but it's great to get out isn't it lovely yeah I was ready for a bit of a fresh air and uh, it's crisp yeah. but it's nice as usual we've planned the route to head out into the wind it's not too windy today it's about nine miles an hour but we're heading out into the wind so that when we tire We'll be Push coming back with a tailwind, hopefully. Unless it changes, which has been known wow, to happen. Wow, look at the view. So it's, clear today. It's a crystal clear day, isn't it? It is. Beautiful. Right, we're clear.
We've descended to the village of Stavern and there's a nice little coffee stop here. It's the coffee shot and really nice little place. The only reason I tend not to stop here if ladies are along is the toilets are down the bottom of the garage and uh, it's not that nice for the ladies because it's the same one the mechanics use. <laughs> But uh, also, the main reason for not stopping today is it's fairly early on in the ride. I know some of our American viewers are often quite surprised that these little lanes are two-way. And what's interesting is that if you're in a car and you meet another car coming the other way, then both will slow down, make room for each other. But sometimes, a car coming the other way and a bike approaching it, the driver doesn't seem to think that they need to slow down often. So you've got to be very careful with oncoming traffic. We were having a discussion in the comments recently about what I would do if we're on a narrow lane and we have a car behind us. And the answer is, I would often pull over, let them through, only if they've been held up for a couple of minutes or more. But I'd rather do that and let them through than have them risk coming too close. And also it's just courtesy. We've all, we've all got to live together, haven't we? Yes, it's interesting that on some of these narrow roads, how drivers can react. I had one one day, I was, I was about where I am now, just out from the edge because it was a bit rough. And the driver coming the other way, he really got quite angry that he had to slow down. But if it had been a car coming the other way, he wouldn't have had any problem <laughs> at all. So it's just this mentality that some drivers have. But we were saying, Wendy, weren't we, that the, the standard of of driving around cycles does seem to have improved I think a lot. It's improved. You still get the odd idiot, but yeah, but then you get the, the odd idiot cyclist as well. Oh uh, yeah. I, yeah, I feel that there's been a bit more empathy than there used yeah. to be, which is great. And of course, what we always do is when somebody's careful around us, we give them a little wave of thank you. I think that goes a long way. Absolutely. I mean, we're both car drivers as well. Yeah, so, exactly. You know, it's uh, you see it from both sides, don't yeah. you? And you usually notice when a driver is a cyclist as well because <laughs> yes. they are extra careful. <laughs> so we've been battling a fair headwind just now. I thought so. It's a bit stronger than the nine they said it would be. Yeah. We're in uh, Stilton Cheese country, so if you like Stilton Cheese, this is the home of it, and this is one of the creameries or dairies. I think they call it a creamery, don't they? Colston Bassett Dairy Shop, so you can buy your Stilton. To be called Stilton, it has to be made in this area. We've stopped for our little break. We stop, we stop every sort of 15, 20 miles or so, have a little break. This is the village of Cropwell Butler. It's very pretty. There's some beautiful houses here, and uh, we've just this one over here. It's a fantastic thatched place. And when did you just notice the old telegraph office? Cropwell Butler Telegraph Office. This office was opened the 21st of June, 1893 or oh, 1890. Didn't want to stop in that puddle.
could get over a bit, couldn't they? Hello. Oh, yeah. Well, you need to move over. Sorry, sorry. Bloody hell. hell. What a crap. Let's see what I mean about you get crazy cyclists as well. We're 33 miles into today's ride. We were going to stop in East Bridgeford for a coffee stop, but there's nowhere to get a coffee stop. So we're now coming down to Cafe Velo Verde, which I know many of you will know. So hopefully it's open and we'll have a welcome break. Piece of cake. You're going for cake, are you? So. I think I might go for a sausage sandwich or something. Yeah. Ready for it? Yes, I am too. I, I think to. I had my porridge at, I think it was seven o'clock this morning. Yeah. And unlike you, I don't carry a mobile tuck box. <laughs> <laughs> I always have food with me. Yeah. So what have you, you got know, in there today? I've got peanuts. I've got those energy tablets. I've got a Mars bar, I've got a caramel bar, um, there must be something else. <laughs> oh, you're like a mobile co-op. I know. <laughs> Can't believe I haven't got a banana today. This is uh, one of our friends, Michael. How do you do? And uh, Michael's still in hang shorts. On, hang on, let me pull my stomach yeah, up. We're, we're in November and he's still in shorts. Well, I looked at the forecast this morning and it said... 10 or 11, so anything below 10 is short, is yeah. long leggings, <laughs> above 10 is grim. The shorts are out. <laughs> shorts. Good. Well, enjoy your ride back. I will. I'll uh, <laughs> think of you eating your sausage yeah. and cobs and... Uh, Thank you very much. Have fun. Yeah. So on that note, we'll... Well, you, so what have you got? You've already, you've already started... Bacon butty. Wendy's got bacon. Right. I've Good got, to see you. I've got sausage. <laughs> yeah, well, it's really. Sorry, Michael, we've finished with you now. We're on food. <laughs> no, we're not on. Bye. Cheers. See you. Well, we're sailing along now, aren't we? 26 kilometres an hour. Wow. We've got the wind behind us. Uh, sun to the side, so it's not blinding us. And it's Lovely. great. Lovely. Let's hope we have many more days like this in November and December. Wendy and I, last Sunday, went out and joined the Richard III ride in Leicester. And that ride goes out to the Bosworth battlefield. It's about 34 miles, all told. And it's supported by Leicester City Council, which is excellent. They, they organise the ride leaders. The ride leaders are trained by British Cycling. Peter and Steve were our leaders and they did a great job, didn't they, Wendy? Yeah, they were really, really yeah. good, fantastic. Lo lots of stops for information about certain things we were passing. And I've agreed with them that I'll make a video of that ride. They only usually do two a year, so they're going to organise one, especially that we can make a video. So if you're in the Leicester area and you fancy joining that, then look out for that. If you look at their website and I'll put a, a link below you'll see the rides that are coming up you can also find them if you look at let's ride and they'll come up for the Leicester area so it'd be great if you do join that I think it's going to be after Christmas now but uh, I'll, I'll certainly uh, be letting you know on here when when that's coming up we can see Beaver Castle somewhere over there look is that it there yeah yeah so we've turned downwind now, so hopefully we'll have a tailwind for most of the way back, which was the plan. While we're on the subject of the rides over in Leicester, they also do, I think it's weekly, a pubs ride. And I did jokingly say I would imagine it turns into a pub wobble by the end, but again, anyone in the Leicester area, that sounds like a, a good fun ride. And we'll certainly be trying that one next summer. <laughs> it was nice to bump into Michael back there at Velo Verde. Haven't seen him for a long time. He's nearly 72. And as you see, still riding around in shorts in November. 
and he was telling us he did the Cambridge Sportif recently and he averaged 18 miles an hour over 100 miles which is pretty amazing and he was recovering from a back injury so it just proves age is no limit passing to your left it's all right all right thank you Well, here we are joining up with the Grantham Canal again. It's ideal for me because it cuts out one of the hills. I still have my least favourite hill at the end. It's 12%. Can't avoid it unless I don't want to bother going home. It's getting quite late in the afternoon now. As you can see, the shadows are lengthening. But be home in time before it gets dark. Currently on 46 miles now, so it's probably going to be closer to 50 by the time I get back. Now, I planned the route, and I think it was 45, so I'm not quite sure where we've added those extra miles, but <laughs> clearly we did. We've had some really sensible driving today. Our only incident was with the bunch of cyclists who were clearly not paying enough attention. But having said that, we all make mistakes, so nobody was hurt, other than maybe a bit of dented pride, I would imagine. Thank you. Don't worry, I shall take care, yeah. I know some of you are interested in looking at the routes we do, so at the end of this video, I shall put up a screen grab of the Strava route. I am on Strava as Ride With Roy, so feel free to follow if you want to. It's not too exciting, I can assure you, but I know there are a lot of cyclists that are not super athletes who just like to get out, do a few miles and hopefully this will inspire them. One of the things I'm not that keen about on this Wahoo is it tells me there's a climb ahead, as if I didn't know. This is the horrible climb I have to do to get back to my house. And it's not a good time of day because it's school run time. Quite a lot of traffic uses this hill coming the opposite way and one of the problems is that uh, some of the mums are quite rapid and they're probably talking to little Tarquin in the back hearing about his day and uh, don't always take a lot of notice of what's out front so got to be super careful here me 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 Well, I'm almost home now, and it's gonna be a 50 mile day. So I know I planned this ride at 45, but of course we had a few extra miles because we went off to look at things, this, which is what we do. As they say, it's how we roll. So I'll say goodbye to you now, and as ever, I wish you safe riding.